is Mariana Lawrence mit Kunst in Vermark. Hier ist Mariana Lawrence with Art and Entertainment. And once again, we gathered here in the green room, in the little theatre, right inside the Athenaeum. Nice, quiet spot here for us so we can chat. And I am quite excited because it's my music that's coming, the music of Woodstock. It was right in my era, my generation. <laughs> <laughs> we loved it. Woodstock happened when I was like a hippie myself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it was very, very nice. I have Rob Thompson on my left. Hello. hello. Hi, Rob. It's flipping high time. Haven't seen you yeah, for so while. long. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. And Joanne Matthews. Is it Matthews? Because I always say, is it Matthews or is it Matthews? It's actually Matthews. Matthews. But uh, I think... Are you think related to Dion? To Dion, yes, he's my uncle. He's your uncle? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, it must be because all the my Matthews is, is related, but some people call them Matthews and yes. so we just don't mind. We, we don't, we just take yes. it as it comes. Yes, yes. we take <laughs> it as it comes. I've got Joanne and they musicians and they're going to be doing the music of Woodstock. It's going to be in a few days time, 30th. It's on its way, a few days to book your tickets. But first of all, before we go there, the three of us knew Glenn Fuller. I was so hard sore and totally heartbroken when I heard he'd gone. He's graduated to heaven. I, that's what I say. There's another angel in heaven. Because Glenn Fuller was a gentleman. I know his daughter. Oh, that's our link. I was in shows with his daughter. And that's how we became close. But I've also interviewed him and been to his concerts and just can't believe that he's gone. Yeah, it's a big shock. Um, he was so... I knew him very well. Played with him plenty. You did? Yeah. You did. And you also, Joanne? He actually grew up with my dad and my uncle. He always used to joke about the Kabiga gang. So whenever you saw comments on Facebook on my post, you would always mention the Kabiga gang. That was them. So, yes, I have no. I knew him through my dad and my dad grew up with him. So, yeah, it's quite a big shock oh, for everyone. He was well known and well loved. Mm. Everybody loved him. He didn't have any enemies mm. and he was such a gentleman. I really loved him. So we know he's in a better place. But he will be looking down on you guys playing the music of Woodstock. So you have to tell me all about it because that's all I've got here. It's the music of Woodstock. It's going to be at the Music Kitchen. It's going to be on the 30th of March. It's at 6 p.m. Yeah, we're looking forward to it very much. This music that I love, that we all love. Uh, it's also quite exciting because the, the band this time is the, the first time the five of us are performing together. Put straight in on organ, Harry Howells in bass and vocals, Joe on vocals, we on guitar and Christo Zunach and drums. And what a combination. Wonderful. So, do you kids know the music? Did you have to <laughs> learn the music? Yeah, I've, I've listened to it plenty. I mean, it's, it's Your 60s, parents. 60s and 70s is kind of the, my two decades that I really love the music from. Yes, so and I, and I mean, you couldn't escape from your parents and grandparents and yeah. so And remember, I'm a huge Jimi Hendrix fan, so... Of course, yes, 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 that picker <laughs> <laughs> of the guitar. He's, and Jimi Hendrix, I mean, he was just amazing. Yeah, I mean, there were so many artists at Woodstock oh, that they were fantastic. Too many. Yeah, I mean, yeah Janis Joplin, we... Santana, Joe Cocker... We'll be here for two weeks if we have to mention each and every one yeah, of them. And what was so wonderful about Woodstock was no crime happened there. Yeah. And it was such a big thing. It was a peace festival. Of course, they always say peace, peace all the time. That was their logo. <laughs> Try have a festival like that today for yeah. days it was on a different end. Era, different time. How things have changed. Mm. So, the music, you obviously, what about you, Jane? Well, for me, it, I did have to learn quite a bit. Surprisingly, it's songs that I do know. I just didn't know that it was from Woodstock era. There was quite a few things that I was surprised with, pleasantly surprised. Also, just on the show, it's a scripted show, so it's a storytelling show at the same time. So, it's very captivating for the audience. It's not just, we're going to come on and play the songs. We're going to tell you the stories. We're going to take you on a trip through Woodstock so as if you're there. A typical <laughs> Kerry Hall style. Yes. Yeah. And you were surprised to know 
that the songs you'd heard before were from Woodstock. Yes, quite a few of them. Of course, I've heard uh, remakes of the, these songs or remixes, and then I didn't know that it was from that era. That it, yeah, it's that's what's so amazing that young people hear songs today; they don't realize they're actually old songs. Mm. Your grandpa actually listened to them, yeah. your grandma, because that's what my grandson thinks now. Gee, grandma, did you listen to those things? Because, <laughs> you know, we just like the old music. Mm. And it was rock and it was hard rock and it was... Yeah, it was, like it was, a, it was a mix of... It was a mix. Yeah, of various different genres. So, Joanne, are you on an instrument or only vocals? No, I will only be doing vocals. I will probably pick up a shaker somewhere along the way. But oh, I'm that's an instrument? It is an instrument. Well, vocals are an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like Christo on his box, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> and, of course, you've done a lot with him as well. Mm-hmm. We're with Christo Zondag. Now, Christo Zondag I've known since he was a little boy. <laughs> It's so exciting. I can't actually wait. I can't wait for, for it. So you had to learn all the songs, basically, because... Yes, memorizing of lyrics and such. <laughs> Always a challenge, but we do what we need to yeah, do. Yeah, we're sharing <laughs> vocals in the show, but yes. Kerry and Jo are the... Yes, because it's only the two female yeah. vocalists, yeah. and there were so many songs done by females. How did you start off, Joanne, becoming a singer? <laughs> and not in a band. Singer. Actually, you, could you escape with a name like Matthias? I don't believe I could, even if I wanted to. I think none of us could. All of us have music. <laughs> That's all of the kids. So, yeah, I didn't actually start with singing. Uh, of course, I did singing at school, but everyone does singing at school, right, in primary school. And then I picked up a, an acoustic guitar, and then one day my uncle said to me, right, we need a bassist for our band. So here's a bass guitar. So he put that in my hands. And now I haven't touched a bass in a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, I went over to vocals because I started singing with Rob. And I haven't looked back since. Do you think you'll go back to bass? I don't. I currently, I am engaged to one of the best bassists in PE. So <laughs> I don't think that I want to put myself in that position. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> because bass, you know, it's all about that bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love the bass. I just love it. So you can do instrument. Yes, yeah, I do play. Mm-hmm. And you then decided that you'll do vocals after you've tried the instrument. Mm. But what if you didn't want to sing? Would your family have ostracized you? <laughs> No, I think they, they would have just thing. wanted me to do something that I do love, but also, I don't know, my parents never forced any of us into music. I had to ask my dad to play music. They didn't have to. Yeah, he didn't, anybody, he didn't though. say, okay, so what instrument do you want to play? I went to him and said, I want to play an instrument. Yes, and I think that is possibly with all of you, Matthias, 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 uh, <laughs> Matthias kids, and Rob. Now, you've been around a while. Yeah, a bit. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, because you didn't just wake up at one day you know, when you were like three years old and say, No, oh, nobody in my family was musical, but I grew up listening to good music. My mum was a huge David Bowie fan and Bread and Ed Zeppelin. So it was all the 60s and 70s stuff that I grew up listening to. But when I was a teenager, I actually fell in love with Latin music. And a bunch of friends who played instruments, I wanted a drum kit my mother realized that a drum kit is going to be loud for somebody who's never played an instrument in their life. And it's going to disturb she bought, the piece. Mm, and she bought me an acoustic guitar instead. And six months later, I was madly and hopelessly in love. And, they are. and that remained then about, a year, yeah, about a year after that, I discovered the blues. I fell hopelessly in love with blues. Oh, yes. Um, now the blues myself. I haven't stopped. I'm still excited every day to wake up and play. That's what I love about PE, that the gigs happen and the different people play for different people. If you yeah, like, with, this with one says, music. no, I can't rap. Can you come and yeah, do with, it? The musical Just family in PE is, is very cool. You know, and you all juggle around all over the place. Sometimes there are two of you, sometimes there are three of you, mm. sometimes there are more of you. I think you need that the musicians in PE work so well yeah, together. Yeah, like we're a big family and we all understand that, yeah. you know, it's hard work, but we love it and yeah. we all support one another. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I think yeah. it's a very important thing. 
But yes, it's absolutely amazing for me that Kerry Howes is so busy and she's roping all of you in. So you've only really stuck to your one instrument, have you? Yeah, I've, I've messed around with uh, like others, but I'm, I realize I'm a guitar player. I'd rather focus on playing guitar and singing. Of course, you've got <coughs> this voice that you can go deep. and no, 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 not too deep, so the sake of it. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I caught him outside. Saying he's, he's putting nails in his coffin. So he's saying it helps. It helps him with his voice. <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with you on that one, Rob, because you lose. <laughs> but yes, so the tickets, do you know how to get yeah, tickets? tickets through the music kitchen. You can get hold of Ian at the music kitchen, 180 rand per person. Yeah, the show starts at 7 p.m. Doors are open at 6. You can also get tickets on Quicket. Quicket. Yes. So Quicket for your ticket. Quicket for your ticket. That's the one. If you don't want to go Quicket, you go Music Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And their phone number is on their Facebook page. You can also contact any of us directly if if you so wish. Yeah. (laughs) If you can remember their names, Rob Thompson. So easy to remember Rob Thompson's name. You can catch him on (laughs) Facebook and you can contact him. You can message him there and Joanne Matthews. And of course, it's Matthews with the M-A-T-T-H-E-U-S. That's the one. The Music Kitchen is in Mangold Street, 69 Mangold Street, Newton Park. That is correct, yeah. That's good. As I say, it's in a few days' time, so they must hurry, 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 because my experience is that the music kitchen is always full. Yeah. It's always packed. So hurry, hurry, hurry. I want to ask what's next for you guys after after Woodstock. We've got a few things planned. Um, I've got some shows with Kerry. After this Woodstock show, we are taking out of town to a few different venues. You're taking Woodstock out of town, yes. Joe and I also have our thing going. We started a funk band. Uh Uh-huh. So that's exciting. Just keep an ear out for that. Mama Joe and the Big Richards. Where will you be before? We've got a show on the 28th of April at 1933. Will you have a poster? Yes, Yes, it will be up. You'll see the marketing. So then I can share it. Yes. Because I'll just share it on... On all my profiles and everybody sees it. Even if we can't fit in a chat, people will know about yeah. it. Just say again what you're calling it. The band's name is Mama Joe and the Big Richards. Mama Joe and the Big Richards. That's one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be in April. Yes, end of April. And anything else you've got to say? <laughs> Nothing much more. Just come check out the Woodstock show. Yeah. Come check out the Woodstock the show. The music it's of Woodstock. It's going to be groovy. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be groovy. I have to ask your family, do they come to all your shows? <laughs> no. <laughs> they come to none of my shows. <laughs> my, my, my mom comes to most of mine. Yeah. Your mom comes to most of yeah. yours? Yeah, she, she supports me very well. O- almost all of them, but she just can't make all yeah. of them. And what are the excuses? Are they always rehearsing? They've got gigs. With other yes, shows? they've got gigs. My dad lives in Joburg now, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He's in Joburg, mm. yeah. And some of your other family here, your Uncle Dion? Yes, my uncle's here, but he's also busy with but gigs But he's busy. Stuff. Yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. Everyone's he's busy, busy with gigs. I <laughs> see. I check him out. He's with the bedlam yeah. a lot and the drums and the drumming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's got to do their thing. Mm. But, yes, we must support one another, though. That's why I'm asking. Mm. Because people always say there's nothing to do in PE. And then when you give them stuff to do, then they can't. They mm. don't support it. I wish you everything of the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And let's just say again quickly, the doors open at... At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. The show starts at 7. The music of Woodstock, the music kitchen, 180 rand per person. And you can book through Cricket or the music kitchen or any of us band members. There you go. And it's so easy. Music kitchen, there's a phone number. You can phone... But cricket is just as easy if you've got the system and it's the 30th of March, which is a few days away. I want to say break them legs. Enjoy. <laughs> thank enjoy, you. Thank enjoy. You. I know everyone's going to enjoy Woodstock. I am. So be blessed. Thank you for coming, Joanne. It's been thank so you. nice meeting you. And Rob, after such a long time, my word. It's yeah, thank been you. Nice thank you for having me back. Keep well. You too. And we'll see you at the Music Kitchen. 
from me, Mariana Lawrence, and Art and Entertainment, it's goodbye. Tijd om te groet vir my, Mariana Lawrence, met kunst en vermaak. Arie, Arie!